everybody. It's Joni B. And Jenny B. And we are on the road again. Woo -woo. Where we're going. We are going to... Ugh. We are at Cracker Barrel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're at Cracker Barrel for our first stop. And, uh, Did I walk the door? Yes. So that's, that's all we have to say. Okay, so bye. Daily tones. 
what is weather anyway? According to warped scientists, that's probably accurate, who are known as meteorologists, weather is what the air is like at any time of the horn. It doesn't matter if the air is cold, hot, or loopy, it's all weather. Weather changes from hour to clown, from day to cave, from season to hearse, and from year to iron. <laughs> Daily changes in weather are caused by wop-sided storms lying across the earth. Seasonal changes are from the earth moving around the glass. When the vape when the vapors <laughs> when the vapors and barefoot clouds condense, we have callous snow. Whether you like it or not, weather is here to weep. <laughs> now um cherry. Cherry. The part of the body I want to do weenie. Is that a part of the body? Your weenie? Well, that your weenie personally, but a weenie? I don't have a weenie. They know. Okay, this is wrong with that car. This one. Is there a tire? Oh my gosh, their tire's oh. falling apart. Uh, yeah, I think you need to pull over. Why are they not? You need to pull over. Your tire is falling apart. You're gonna catch your car on fire. Your, your tire's toast. Yeah, pieces of them flying off. Yeah. Um, when are you going to pull over? Oh they, my gosh. They've had ample opportunity at this point. They have. I'm scared to go by them. There they go. No. Oh my gosh. Pull over already. You see all that hanging yes. on the... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I don't know what this is, but I don't want to be part of it. Oh my gosh! Okay. It's like I can't go slow down. Oh my. Pull over, friend! You're going to lose control of your car in just a minute. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because you can see how lopsided it is. Yep. The whole front end in just a minute. Oh my gosh! What the freaking freak? Bro. Oh, he's just driving out the freaking. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what the? You don't even have a tire anymore. <laughs> what the heck is happening? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did he ever stop or is he? No, he's still going. Oh no, he stopped. He oh, stopped. did he? Didn't he? No. Oh, no, he's still going. <laughs> Y'all, he does not have a freaking tire anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. He's still flipping going. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Excuse me, Sir! You lost your tire! You lost <laughs> your tire! Look at it! Can you see it in the camera? It's nothing! Oh my god! Okay, well, I guess I'll read the Mad Lib now. <laughs> this is called... Oh my gosh. Home Sweet Home. There's a lot going on back there. Some people are fond of the saying, Home is where you hang your cherry. That sounds... <laughs> sexual. <laughs> well... Oh, hey, there's an exit here. Oh, maybe that's where he's going. <laughs> You'll be pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so home is where you hang your cherry. Others say home is where the weenie is. <laughs> As for me, <coughs> Even though my home is a rustic 35-story motorcycle home with a pink picket fence surrounding it, I think of it as my voluptuous castle, perched on a poop overlooking a babbling hose and surrounded by a forest of huge cupcakes. My home offers me barber and tranquility. Each and every cactus, I look forward to coming back to my weird home where my faithful subway will suspiciously greet me by wagging its booty and farting all over me. I just love my stinky home. <laughs> The end. I guess he made it to the exit. 
Well, I'm sure glad that the guy behind <laughs> us, behind this truck, didn't crash into, didn't crash into this truck because in this truck, who gets hugging my hooter hoo, <laughs> it's but it crashed into us. Your hooter hoo. Uh oh. What the oh. heck? What's my nipple? <clears throat> oh. Hi. It's coming the wrong way. What the uh, heck? I'm just. Now, what are we doing? Oh. Exit? Yep. This has been an accident. We made it to It's about 4.15 p.m. and now we're gonna go in and say hello to Did you get yourself off the struggle bus or? No, thank you. Basically, Joni B was just chilling in the bed and a roach crawled on her. So now we're here! Tell people how you feel. Yeah, so it's been a great day and uh, I think we're gonna... It was a great day. Until we got to... The roach. No, the stop. Oh yeah, because my dinner... It was okay, but the service was horrible. Things kind of went. <laughs> but I think we're okay now. We didn't have to 
Madison is trying to break in. <laughs> um, but we're gonna hang out here at the jewelry, eat breakfast and dinner here because we found out as of five o'clock, Illinois is shut down. Like what the heck? You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so uh, I think tomorrow we're just gonna kind of hang out until we leave to go to Jacksonville, Illinois and hope that it's not in complete lockdown. Well, that will be a story to tell you. But um, that's that's the life of being travel storytellers. Yeah, it's not always rosy. I did make the comment when we were coming here. I said, well, we should have known. Today was going way too smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was a brief moment where I thought we were about to be framed for a murder. But I think everything's fine. Um, I don't think the people I thought were murdered were actually murdered. She watches too much. Um, Correct, drama. <laughs> we're gonna, I think, go to bed and then see where tomorrow takes us. So, uh, well, it's gonna take me right here. <laughs> so, good thing we brought snacks. Hey, bye. All right. Bye. Oh.